Turning now to a possible arson in one neighborhood that is all too familiar with crime on their streets. And this latest issue is captured on camera. This video showing a building catching fire near White Center. The Seattle Fire Department says the arson team is investigating, and this is all just blocks away from another arson just a few months ago. And local business owners say they are just fed up. Fox 13 News reporter Steve Kagan's live in South Seattle with more on this. Steve? Yeah, fed up and frayed. These, these neighbors, they're very concerned about this latest incident. And you can see over my shoulder what's left of this building. There's charred walls and firefighters had to tear through the walls here. Now, firefighters tell us they couldn't even get inside this building. So investigators at this point so far are calling this fire undetermined as far as its origin. And they've referred the case to Seattle PD's arson unit. Now, this isn't the first fire in this neighborhood. It's left neighbors here stunned. Pay attention as the car passes the frame. A person can be seen walking out a door just as flames build then pour out of a window on Southwest Barton Street Sunday night. It was bone chilling. I mean, there was a guy who nonchalantly walked out and down the street as flames were coming out of the side of the building. And yeah, it's it's scary. Jeffrey McElroy has seen the video. He owns Max Triangle Pub. That fire was 15 feet from my house. You know, there's also so much that's going on in this neighborhood, and it doesn't feel safe anymore. Today, his bar is filled with neighbors and business owners waiting to hear from fire investigators. The majority of the ones I can speak to are either accidental or they are transient related. Fire investigator Scott Case from the King County Sheriff's Office was invited to share insight with these neighbors. Back in July, the Lumberyard Bar and a half dozen other businesses were destroyed in a fire, considered arson, and a possible hate crime. That and several other fires in the area is the reason this meeting was already on the books. Sunday's fire is different in that it occurred north of Southwest Roxbury Street. That's inside the city of Seattle. We don't have some mad arsonist on the loose burning every building down in the place. Okay, so I'm just I'm trying to get that sort of separation in terms well, of what's going I, on. The, the, it wasn't your jurisdiction, but there is very, very extremely clear footage of a man committing arson on camera Perfect. right there. Yeah. So we are concerned be, yeah, there so easily could be. I can't speak to that. And to your if point, that, if that fire is if the Seattle investigates that and they say it's arson, will you be, begin talking and communicating with them because of the proximity? So, so here's one of the things <coughs> I've already gotten out of this meeting is a whole bunch of fires in the neighborhood on the other side of Roxbury that I had no no knowledge of. Okay. Red tape of bureaucracy becomes inflamed when political boundaries slice through crises. It's just the way the geography runs. So that's the sheriffs, and this is SPD. And sometimes they talk to each other, and sometimes they don't. And as you heard the investigator say, he didn't necessarily know what happened on 16th and Barton this morning or last night. And so, you know, does it shock me? Absolutely not. So we're getting live pictures out of South Seattle where this latest fire looks like it has destroyed this building here on 16th Avenue Southwest and Southwest Barton Street. Now, some of those business owners we talked to tell us they've been considering hiring private security, but at 60 bucks an hour, that gets cost prohibitive pretty quickly. And while collaboration between city and county agencies is routine, the fire investigator at today's meeting told us that he pledged a strong commitment between the King County Sheriff's Office and Seattle PD about sharing information no matter which side of this border these crimes occur. For now, we're live in South Seattle. Steve Kiggins, Fox 13 News.